so what happened was, what happened was, uh, I went to the wrong dealership. So there's BMW Motorcycles of Charlotte and then BMW Motorcycles of Greensboro. And I went to the wrong one. It's the same, uh, it's the same owners, but different, uh, basically different, um, but just different um, locations. So, called the guy. Oh, they're here. Nope, it's a truck. <laughs> so I called the guy. And uh, they basically said, well, go to this spot and we'll be there at 11.30. So here we are. Well, here we are. We are, um, man, where are we? Somewhere in North Carolina, about 30 miles north of Winston, Winston, Salem. This event is uh, put on by BMW, well, I guess it's Motorcycles of Greensboro is the name of the dealer, but it's a, it's a multi-brand like most, most other dealers. Um, obviously, uh, they move a lot of BMWs, so um, this event was open to all. It was called the Snowball Ride. It's their third year of doing it, and uh, I've been really hungry for twisties and... Um, you know, when I heard it was going to be a guided ride uh, up into the mountains into Virginia uh, with some camping, um, including dinner, which was chilly, by the way. Uh, no, like chilly, not it was all it was also cold, but yes, chilly um, dinner and um, breakfast and camping and a guided ride and an optional off road ride the next day for 40 bucks. I thought they're probably spending forty dollars a person to put this on, so it's not like it's a big profit thing. It's a it's a it's a marketing tool. Um, it stayed around forty to forty five degrees all day. It I think it touched fifty for a little bit. It rained the entire day, but um, you know I was comfortable. I had my full suit on, had the hippo hands on, no complaints at all. The guy in front of me on the base R eighteen was in jeans, and I asked him if he was cold, and he said he was not cold. I don't believe in. <laughs> uh, Andrew, who is, I believe, the parts manager of Motorcycles of Greensboro, uh, was our captain. A few other folks in the Sprinter van showed up at the campground and cooked for us. There was bourbon, there was beer, there was water, and we just had a really, really good time. I mean, I, I did, at least. Um, they capped it at roughly, I would say, like 10 or 12 people, which is a good, it's a good number uh, to cap it there. And uh, I also recorded the route. So now I have a nice little, um, you know, could be an afternoon ride um, in the summertime just to stretch my legs a little bit and work on my cornering, uh, which was rusty, by the way. I haven't done any really serious cornering since like, you know, October, September, October. So a little rusty. And um, also with us was the Southeast BMW rep, Carrie. Uh, who was my GS Trophy team captain. So you'll see her if you watch that GS Trophy qualifier video. Uh, low, I think I woke up, it was 34 degrees on Sunday morning. I had breakfast and then headed straight home. But I took um, the non-interstate route home. So just, you know, state and county roads home. Uh, didn't want to sit, you know, spend you know, two hours, 80 miles an hour. So I took three to go back roads. Um, also, I didn't know this, but I was we I passed through Mount Airy on my way south, which is where Andy Griffiths was born. So there was a big, um, you know, Mayberry Courthouse there, uh, Andy Griffith Museum, a bunch of statues and signs, and you know it was, it was neat. I mean, it was kind of touristy, but it's it's not really peak tourist season. So no one was down there, and so I got some pictures and got to kind of go to his old house where he was born and stuff like that. That was kind of cool. Um, yeah, I grew up like a lot of people uh, watching the Andy Griffith show, Matlock, as a kid, with my, with my grandparents and parents. So that was that was neat. But yeah, so I say overall, um, 
you know, Motorcycles of Greensboro did a really fantastic job with this event. Uh, they kept it small, they kept it manageable. And, you know, the more people you add, the slower it goes. You know, one guy has to go get gas. Then one guy's like, oh, I should get gas too. And all of a sudden, everyone's getting gas. Uh, <laughs> you know, the, that whole thing. Um, I think the, you know, it continues to be a complaint of mine that living in Charlotte has just minimal roads like this. Uh, and by the way, the campground was closed for the year. So there was no bathrooms or anything. We were definitely the only people that were staying there all winter. Um, they were happy to have us. So, you know, it was, it was, we worked out really well. Um, yeah, the, the, the Charlotte area, you pretty much have to ride about an hour, uh, you know, in any direction to find, um, curvy roads or dirt roads. You, you have to, you have to work to find them. So, you know, you either go east to Uwari, you go northeast to Asheville area, um, you go west, I assume, to something. Um, and then south, you can go south into like Columbia area and hop on the, the South Carolina Adventure route with a SCAR. Um, I asked the guy when I first moved here, I said, why doesn't it call South Carolina Adventure Trail? And he says, well, <laughs> think about that for a second. And I said, oh, okay, I get it. He's like, we, we did call it the SCAT, but then uh, we decided we, we would change it up a little bit. <laughs> um but no, I, it was great. This is my ride home, by the way. Um, uh, coming off the mountain, uh, heading south. It was chilly that morning. But um, this was like my first... I, I did a New Year's Eve camp out in Uwari. But this is my first like group event since moving here in November. And uh, the only th I thing I'll share with you all is I lamented... Oh, this is my, my little roll through Mayberry. Uh, I lamented to the crew at the Greensboro um, BMW dealership that... Um, I've built a transcontinental out of my bagger and they were like, at any point did you stop to just think I should just trade in for a transcontinental? And I said, well, every time I think that, and I just put another $400 in it for these winglets. And, uh, they're like, why didn't you stop there? You still stop there. What are you going to add next? And I said, uh, I don't know, maybe those little leg things like, well, then you build a transcontinental, but you don't have a brake light or the upper stereo. And I said, I know, I just, I, I, I'm stupid. <laughs> so that was a funny conversation. Uh, they, they, they enjoyed making fun of me uh, and they appreciated me buying all those parts. <laughs> the after sales guys were like, oh, this is, we appreciate you uh, spending an extra six grand or four grand to build your TC. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching everyone. And uh, thanks Motorcycles of Greensboro for hosting. Y'all take care and ride safe.